Oh! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers, sir. <laughs> Cheers, sir. Let Thank you so much, sir. First. Cheers, sir. <laughs> God bless you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Mm. This, this is a, a toast to uh, long life and prosperity. Thank you. A toast to long life and prosperity, sir. Thank you. Good health, more wealth, yeah. and more innovation. In Jesus' name, sir. Like we're along. Amen, Amen sir. <laughs> It's a sweet one, sir. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. sweet. Uh, very fantastic. Very pleasant. Deserved. Pleasant, yeah. Yeah. They have taken my brand, Yoruba Music, yeah. to all the, all the continents, actually. Mm. I, I count myself lucky having started off in England. Okay. And um, with all due respect, with the British passport, it's not that my band and I have to wait for visas to mm. go to places. So I, I probably am the most traveled after King Sonny Day. Fella and maybe Commander, probably the most traveled Nigerian musician, hmm. but people don't know it. Hmm. So what's been happening to me? Music has been happening to me. Music entertainment has been happening to you, but a lot yes. of your fans in Nigeria, some of them are not very, very much aware that JD Cod is back, based, settled in Nigeria. <laughs> in, uh, I think it was 2014, yeah. we had the same story that JD Cod has settled, then in um i think 20 it started in 2011 then 2014 yeah, yeah. it's kept and 2019 was the last time and yeah. it kept recycling that he settled down he settled down he settled down and people are asking now that has it really settled down especially with shows in Ijebu, in ibadan okay. in lagos what's going on yeah it may be maybe my clientele are the private type okay sir. maybe my clients are not the loud type hmm. maybe that's the thing well i was hearing Throughout 2019, even my family in England complained that I was only in England for six weeks mm. in 2019. But 2020, I thought, let me go and take a chill pill in England, and COVID came. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. And then, we thank God, we yeah. are back on the road. Mm. I make bold that King Sonade cannot control his own career anymore. He's so big, mm. he cannot control. If he doesn't post it, others will post it. Yeah, yeah for their own um, gratification. Yes. He cannot control it. Mm. We are not that big. K1's client, um, he's similar to King Sonia they bought. He, he, his clientele want to see that. That's what they dream of. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, look at the mm. president's daughter's uh, wedding. Wedding. Yes, in sir. the bus. Mm. See what happened there, young people. Yes. See what happened in the bus. Yes. They probably, uh, they probably didn't want that out. Mm. But there's a lot of... Even there was a Cubana there in the north spending his own money too. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, we would not kill Joy. We are not kill Joy's. But at the same time, some people that you won't believe that they will waste hmm. a million naira on GD Cod would do it just like that because hmm. they are GD Cod's friend. Yeah. But they don't want you to know. They, that, that doesn't add to their accolades. It doesn't add to their pedigree. It doesn't add to their family uh, history. Hmm. They don't need that. Hmm. There are other things that they that they take pride in. But then, giving their wife money and playing with GD Code is not for public consumption. Hmm. It's, it's, it comes naturally. You can't give what you don't have. Hmm. Some people don't even want to be like me. They will think, ah, Kalim Baba Code, yeah. <laughs> eh? <laughs> That's what they want. That's what their family pushed them to. Ah, what in there? Fairy, you go go. Hey, love Bali, you love FMB. But that is not the way I started off, and that I cannot change now. The song is so very captivating and so lovely, and that was it. The society became a well wind of rockenism. <laughs> So, so, so what, what was it all about? He said something. He said something when I tried to avoid my mom. Hmm. He was seeing me struggling with it. You're a wise old man now, so you probably know what must have happened. He called me and said in Yoruba, Tigiba, Komange, Ginigo, Agbalag, Balomamo, Ibitoma, Wosi. Him and Lady Pella were talking to me, like a son, like a staff. And Lady also said, ah, who would want to lose a smart boy like you. Hmm. Oh, Madam Kwe, lose. Am I dying? Let me tell you, I'm not going to be more. I'm lost. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it.
the concept of magician, Lasson, did, nobody knew that guy that he's a serious, devoted Muslim and all that. But of course, we had bodyguards who smoked, mm. who did things. The area was like, ah, to buy Kodian Lepel, I test money, he's a liar. The fair facade. Yeah, the fair facade was there. So the concept was, ah, I'm going to tell you, blah, blah, blah. I learned a lot. He had a library, for God's sake. Yeah, right, read about metaphysics, about psychology and everything. But people thought we were all just there smoking. But you know what my nickname was in the organization? What was it? Goody, goody. Goody, goody. Because I got to my lap, I want to push any cigar, not any bullap, goody, to my sat up, goody, goody, goody. So they used to call me goody, goody. They're the friends, the biggest influence on you. Yeah, yeah. So those ones were there, but there are people like Uncle Toya Jagun. I said, bah, that does mad be mad be. You don't know that I sing like him. People don't get it. Hmm. I'm hearing his name for the first time. I've, I've loved, heard the ah. music. Mad be mad be. Yes, I've heard his name. Yes, I said, bah. You hear it in my music. Go on, go on. Toye Ajagun. Toye Ajagun. Prince Ade Kunle. But my first, my first, my, you asked for my biggest influence. You yes, know, sir. You know who my first influence in music I is? I would love to know, Timo sir. Chitele. We took that one on Sonny Okosons. Ah! That's how, that's where I wanted to be. Well, like, well, like. Um, Original. Uh, uh, Ozigi. Ozigi. Ozigi King. Ozigi King. Yeah. Ah, Sonny Okosons. I didn't want to be Fela. It was, he, there's something called a minor scale and a major scale. Okay, sir. In so music. The, uh, Fela plays minor. I listen to him. <laughs> good, good, David. What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> Especially when he sings in that crazy Shakiri or S.O.D. Uh, thing. Ah, oh, God. Mm. So my songs initially were like that. Mm. There was a song I was in church. Katata Baba Ushe. I want to show up. And I want to show up. But everybody thought I was going to be a son of course. And it was just that shit, you know, hmm. culture. Did you, um, did you music will allow you to do a lot? With it. Yeah, so I just thought, let me set it into Juju music from me. Let me go to Don Jazzy. It was one of your bad boys. But yes, today, it it's not a very big It's bigger than you. I thank God. <laughs> Who, was? <laughs> <laughs> Who was Don Jazzy in those days? Don Jazzy. In London, yes. Don Jazzy is Michael. Michael, come, you rice on the dining table in our house. <laughs> but yes, that, but Michael will arrive on time. I'm, I'll tell you about him now. Uh -huh. It's going to be short, and we're going to because this is not about him. It's a bigger brand. So yes, I'm not going to talk about him too long. Back there, shut up where you are. <laughs> uh -huh. So, but if you say rehearsal is four, he'll be there like ten minutes to four. You say rehearsal is four to eight. His friends, two people, will arrive at six, hmm. and we'll be prepared to do that rehearsal till nine or ten. He will get up at eight, you know, because he was there at four. Hmm. And I used to tell them, boy, my maker. Hmm. I said, okay, boy, my make a gun. To be those days. Yeah. You saw it. I saw it. Big timing, look of timing, because for example, Rockpo, his mom controlled him a lot. He was the if we are playing overnight, I will have to call his mom for them to know when I did they follow out. But he'll be there when we agreed. And but he will leave. Because people can be slack and they start coming at 5 30 but they are ready to still be chilling african time uh -huh. they're still to be chilling till now yeah, let's quickly do um um party me malo now and uh, this new kenny doesn't know it michael said i know it i know my part there i'm going and he said it and he will leave but they suffer okay, that's a sign for my for my successful i didn't even know he would be this speed but i used to tell every member of my mind so, hmm. so yeah. So uh, Michael Ajari was a different Michael, person. He, he was that. Yeah, there were successful people. There were good people in the band too. But I knew he was one of the people that I'll be able to say, yeah, he was my friend. How you escaped last year? I mean, we were so surprised when <laughs> you had your COVID challenge, and I was afraid here in Nigeria. Mm. I think we were sharing a lot of messages on mm. Facebook, and we we're all praying and all that. How did it happen? Because you were crisscrossing in there, you were here, mm. you were there, and yeah. how and. You said you are so much and you are like standing at deaths and how did you escape it? I will say it's a miracle in your life. Ah, I would say it was the grace of God. It was grace, the grace of, of God. God. Because as at that time, the fact that you had COVID, it's like having a motor accident. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Sometimes some people they just hit their head. If they hit their head in familiar circumstances, they will probably not die. Mm. But because there was a shock going through mm. them at that time. Mm. They hit their head and died in that motor accident. The impact should not have killed them, but their body itself was 
not okay. Even some people in, in, in the airplane, when there's a gallop, some people just die for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So at that time, COVID was so scary that the fact that you confirmed that you had it, you already have death. Mm -hmm. So your resilience to, to, to the, you know, mm -hmm. your immunity is broken, your mind is broken. That thing, mm -hmm. I don't wish it on my enemy. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether the new variant is lighter because I see people with COVID. A lot of people are not dying anymore. And I see them, you have COVID. Shall I say COVID take me in your I will look at you and there'll be orange, there'll be an orange halo on your head. Mm. It messes up your mind, messes up your body. I just gave up. Mm. Like I said in that punch interview, I was driving into the hospital. I wasn't the one driving, so I couldn't drive. I think my mother thought I was driving. And yeah. I, that particular hospital, you pass the mortuary before you go into accident and emergency. To That's the like East London. Yeah. And I looked like at the King mortuary. Yeah, King, ah, George. you remember? Yeah. Yeah, King George hospital. And I just looked at the mortuary. I said, you think you're ending up here? <laughs> That's right, you're afraid of death. Oh, um, I've never been afraid. My mom hates me for that. I've never been afraid of death since I was like... In fact, I thought I would... I, I don't believe I would still be alive. Something just told me when I was young that I won't reach 30. I don't know. But that's another, that's another... Yes, the grace discussion. of God is sufficient for you. You're going to... I want to go 30 in God's grace. I'm going to be bigger grace. than that. Don't worry, sir. <laughs> we won't allow you to use our prayer to drag you down. But seriously, <laughs> I don't want to dwell. It, it <laughs> brings tears to my eyes. <laughs> so it <laughs> was it was a horrible experience. That disease, that one that first came, <laughs> uh, it kills you before it kills you. <laughs> and there was a friend, Tunde Brymo, that said, ah, I that sent him. me a message. I know him. Congratulating me that I survived. Honorable. He died later. <laughs> there was somebody, Tunde Daramola, who met me physically in Tesco in a supermarket near my house. I was saying, did you know yo? He died of it later. So why didn't I die?
5 Mi país es Olubala y yo 5 
Enjoy the music from within my soul. 